All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do a 4v4 on the map Dry Arabia. It's supposed to say 4v4, so we just decided at the last minute to go change it to that. I think that these teams are more balanced than what they were before. We'll see how this goes. Going to try and roll with it. Apparently, Cruzini is almost identical to my rating, so this should be a relatively fair game. And, uh, yeah, you guys in the Twitch chat did tell me that you wanted me to play as the Koreans, which is going to be an interesting handicap. We'll see how this goes. Is the Koreans not necessarily the best civ for a map like Arabia? The thing with the Koreans is that they lack any substantially strong uh, economic bonuses in the early game, and those are, in general, huge on uh, most like really open maps especially like you'll never really see the koreans in competitive play on a map like arabia as they just frankly fall behind civs like the huns persians mayans yes. mongols etc all right let's do this cool mongo's back and we're gonna roll with this one we have players in here of a relatively mixed uh you know skill caliber krasini's playing as the mayans which is actually kind of scary we'll see maybe this will work crazy mic quality like crazy good or crazy bad ready teddy let me know let me know. And we're in the game. I'm going to try my best to make the Koreans work on Arabia. Now, it goes without saying, guys, a uh, you know, brief disclaimer as always is that you know, during these matches, my attention is divided between playing the game, reading the Twitch chat, and providing a meaningful commentary. So, pardon me if I don't get to play my best, as uh, this level of multitasking is very, very tricky, but I'm going to give it a good shot. We'll see how this goes. Now, someone in the Twitch chat was asking me a little bit earlier about my hotkey setup. I just use the standard hotkeys for everything, and if any of the hotkeys change from, you know, the forgotten to, you know, HD, or if any of the hotkeys are different from the original AOC ones, then I change them back to the original AOC ones. Crazy good! Hell yeah! Thank you for the sub, uh, Contracus. I really appreciate it, man. Helps me out a lot. Welcome to the team. So, yeah. I do have a new microphone thanks to you guys as well. That's also appreciated. Also a lot appreciated. So yeah, I just use the standard AOC hotkeys. And really the most important one is definitely, definitely the H and C combination, I think. You know, you press uh, you press H to you jump to your town center and then C to make a villager. But your, your make a villager hotkey might be different uh, than mine. And that's fine. But yeah, the H and C hotkey combination makes all the difference. Oh my goodness. You just become 2K rated in, in five minutes. Doctors hate him. That's the secret. <laughs> Hello, Vindon. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, Vin Don. So we're going to start bringing those sheep back a little bit, as I seem to have... This is just a thing with Arabia, it's just a phenomenon. The sheep just seem to hide themselves quite efficiently. I'm going to see if I can go locate where those guys are hiding. I did find my boar, that's good. That's good, and uh, I think it's time to bring this other sheep in as well. Still no sign of my other sheep, maybe they're hiding over here. That's the plan. Now, since I am the Koreans and, well, my early game eco bonuses uh, have been relegated to just stone, like we just get faster stone mining. Kind of underwhelming. Ooh, there's my sheep. This will be a little, this will be a little tricky. I might, I'm the pocket, so, you know, usually when it comes to, oh, well, thank you, uh, Hardfoil, I appreciate it. When it comes to something like Arabia, the, like, the metagame is, is somewhat straightforward. Usually want to be doing, uh, like a fast castle age if you're in the pocket position, as in, you know, you're adjacent to your teammates, you're not adjacent to an enemy. Usually a fast castle age is actually the, the way to go, and that's what I'm going to be doing here. And the reason why a fast castle age is such a good idea is because, well, you're so far away from your opponents, right? Like, my opponents are, like, over here. Uh, they're, they're never going to get to me in time. So I can afford to be a little greedier, go for something like a fast castle. That house might make it harder to lure this board. We'll see where life takes us. Uh, if you're on the flank, you know, usually you're a little bit more concerned about getting brushed, so you'll usually see players going for some Feudal Age uh, aggression. Maybe they'll go for, like, a Dark Age rush. Kind of makes sense, and since I'm going for a Fast Castle Age, I will be sitting in the Dark Age a little bit longer than I normally would, uh, and we'll see what happens after that. I'll sit in the Dark Age for a little bit, and the goal is when I get to the Feudal Age, you can kind of see how I do it here. When I get to the Feudal Age, I should have just barely enough stuff uh, barely enough stockpiled resources if I set up my eco correctly to be able to, you know, build a blacksmith in a market, uh, or a barracks in, like, you know, you know, two feudal age buildings, essentially, right? And then I'll be able to click up to the castle age almost immediately without too much delay. Now, generally, I, sometimes I build a market when I go for something like a night rush, uh, because I like being able to balance my eco around a little bit more, but in general, you'll usually see, and this is recommended, uh, that players will build, like, a stable, a barracks, and a blacksmith. 
that's the idea here. So, got the boar down. Not necessarily completely under my TC, but yeah, you shoot the boar twice, bring it over here. If I miss a couple of your messages, my bad, as the Twitch chat does go at a relatively accelerated pace, and I am trying to play this game. AV2 is a really hard game to play while streaming, but I'm going to give it my best effort. I'm give it my best effort. I'm going to have a sip of that delicious water, as it does help me out quite a bit. Stay hydrated, friends. It's the secret. Welcome to the stream. Why not Lando? Hey, Philip LeBon, how are you doing, dude? No mill makes Rez a sad, sad man. Don't split on the sheep. Good, good, villagers. Looks like they get to eat tonight. This villager had, did not go all the way to the boar, but that is A-OK. -okay. Now, the thing here is that recently, AV2 actually got an update. Like, AV2 HD got an update. Believe it or not, it's crazy. Uh, after, you know, a huge... I was going to say a moment of silence from the developers, uh, more like nearly a you know year of silence, or what felt like a year. Uh, they actually brought us a really pleasant surprise. I mean, the game got a huge update as the, they've you know, been working on it for quite a while. I mean, I say huge in that you know, they did a bunch of like framework things. and Oh, that's my ally scout. Okay. And basically, they just removed almost all the frame rate issues and single player lag that you should experience at all. Not that, not that I really had any performance issues, but... Some people really did experience uh, some frame rate problems, and that should solve 99% of that. Should be good to go. I mean, one of the bigger things with AOE2 is not necessarily, you know, frame rate problems. It's just the fact that it uses peer-to-peer, -peer, so I find a lot of lag is uh, just, you know, uh, based off ping. I think someone said something about Harold Hodrada. If you could repeat that, that would be swell. Is that you? Sounds good, Flatch. Hey, Fium Sagums! Welcome to the stream, my friend. We doing Pokemon tomorrow. So it looks like I've uh, nommed all my sheep, and that's fine. I, you, you usually don't want to like exit your base with uh, villagers that are low on HP. That can t usually be a bad thing, as there might be a big bad wolf over there. So I'll send that woman over there, and this one can go on to uh, the bushes. And uh, now I'm going to start scouting a little bit more aggressively as I found all of my external resources, and I'm setting myself up for a fast castle age as fast as I can possibly do it uh, with this level of distraction. It's not diplomacy, it's a 4v4 Arabia meth. 4v4. What's the best way to keep your ping down? Uh, J. Bush asks, and well, it's kind of tricky. I mean, you can only really do so much. Uh, try and, you know, play with people who live relatively near you. Make sure that your internet... Are those whose sheep are those? Are those his sheep? Those aren't his sheep. Two sheep gray. No. Those are yours. Play with people you know in your area. Make sure no one else is using the internet, and you're not just using it for downloads and whatnot. Uh, helps out quite a bit. So we're gonna go up at about 28 pop and see where life goes. Hey, no problem, F. App says I should send a hidden villager behind their base. We'll see. Don't know if it'll work out. I'm gonna have to play somewhat standard, I think, just because we all know that uh, Rick, uh, Rick Askey uh, and uh, Fresh Princess of Belarus are a little bit on the lower rated side of things. And might I say that they both have awesome, awesome nicknames. Yeah, Rick Askey. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a really, really good one. So they're a little bit on the lower side, so, uh, you know, Cold Mongo and I are gonna have to make up for that and uh, try and play real good. But we'll see. Fresh Princess of Belarus looks like she's. Keeping up with everybody. Or I don't know if that's a guy or a girl. Never tell on the internet, because on the internet, everyone's a dog. Thank you, Contra Cuss. I really appreciate it. And welcome, uh, Cataphract. Glad you could make it to the stream, dude. Hope to see you in the future. So we're going up uh, to the next stage, which is pretty solid. Uh, holy shitballs. Wait, did he... I'm assuming he meant to go pick those those sheep up. So I'm, I'm going to go... I'll waddle those over to the base, as I believe my deer hunter stole that. Scouting around, I've located some of my enemies. It's important that I try and find where they are so that I can go poke them later with my knights. Hey, Godly Mustache, welcome! You're a hawk? Interesting, Flash. I had no idea. And yes, uh, Festering Goblin, this is the low-rated game. Although we're doing a 4v4 to balance out the teams a little bit as Grzini wormed his way in here accidentally, didn't notice that it was for the 1800 plus. I mean, sorry, less than 1800 dudes. And, uh, well, I'll let him stay. Why not? Why not? And try and shift it around there. So he's on the enemy team, he's literally just 10 underneath my rating, so we should be good to go. But people have their rating for different reasons, so 
Who knows? Maybe he's an Arabia player, because I am sure as hell not. My thing is, is I know a lot about the game, and I, I can tell you anything you need to know about the metagame, units, strategies, and whatnot, but when it comes to actually executing, I am not nearly as good. I am just not really good at actually playing most games. <laughs> when it comes to most games, I can tell you anything you need to know about them, as I am obsessed with studying them, but when it comes to executing, I fall apart. Not enough practice. I spend so much time watching and studying games that I don't need to play them as much. And I'm going to go again for the market here as I find it really helps a lot to balance the eco. We'll see Alpha Lyrae. I might do that. Uh, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that use. I'm excited that HD is getting an update because, well, you know, really HD is missing a lot of features that, you know, User Patch and Voobly provide. Uh, the thing with, I believe that official Microsoft support uh, is really important for the longevity of this game, or just a game in general. I mean, really you want the official developers to be uh, on board. It helps quite a bit, because they can apply, you know, they can supply us with features and things that are just not possible. For example, like Steam integration, and that's really, really chill. Maybe nice, though, if, uh, combined forces, that would be sick, but, you know... It's interesting to see where this goes, and hopefully by supporting the game. I mean, another thing is that official support from Microsoft, of course, brings a lot of players. It brings all the players to the yard. It brings a lot of new, fresh blood into the game that this game really does need, and keeps the, the player base rolling, so... Yeah. But I'm a firm believer, though, that regardless of where you play or what version of AOE that you play, we're all friends here, and that cooperation is badass, and that we're all just AOE fans. So yeah. Wow, thank you so much for the sub, Martin. Much appreciated. Martin, Martin. Thank you. So build that barracks now. Sounds pretty good to me. I think that, what well, I think that, at least in my opinion, is that uh, HD is a good place to start. If you're new and you haven't, you know, you haven't played AOE in, you know, a billion years and you have no idea what you're doing, I think HD is a good place to start and that once you get you know, more familiar with the game, uh, then, then Voobly is the way to go. But who knows, maybe someday uh, Microsoft and, you know, the Forgotten team will supply us with a just, you know, all the user patch features and whatnot, it'd be sick. You never know, but in the meantime, I'm here to play some AOE, put down another Lumber Camp, as I really don't want to oversaturate this one uh, over here. I already have a lot of Lumberjacks, and you get too many there, and they start bunching up on each other and doing drugs, and that's real bad. Drugs, not hugs. Build a second Lumber Camp. See how that goes. Low strike fire! But yeah, we have a new expansion coming for AOE 2, which is pretty nuts. Again, I wouldn't have seen that coming. If you asked me, I would have thought the developers abandoned the game. But no, they didn't, and that's good news. So we have a new expansion pack coming. Uh, we have no idea when, but soon TM, of course. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what they add. I'm pretty excited, although I think, to be honest, I would have rather had maybe improvements to the existing features than a uh, you know new expansion. I would like... You know, being able to speed up my replays more, uh, that would be sick, as, uh, you know, right now the replays, even at the fastest speed, run at the speed of a snail. Looks like he was also going for the... the deer. Fascinating. So yeah, the replays do run uh, a little bit on the slower side of things. I would have liked that. You know, just improvements to the existing stuff. Maybe uh, we had, like, voice acting to the campaigns uh, in The Forgotten. That would have been cool. You never know. Hello, Landalium. It's actually a low-rated game, even though there are a couple players in here who uh, belong in the high-rated game. But we're rolling with it. We're going to try and make it work. And, yeah, hopefully it works. Real heavy on the wood here, because I'm thinking... I'm having thoughts about another town center right now. I am thinking a lot about having another TC. That'd be nice. I'm going to start mobilizing my knights. I'm actually out of food, so I'm actually going to buy some. Try and, you know, keep my eco really rolling right now. I think that I do actually have too many lumberjacks, so we'll build another lumber camp, and then maybe I'll build a TC over here. The nice thing about that TC is that it also protects my wood and my uh, stone from enemy raiders. So we got no money of any description right now, and that's fine. I'd rather prioritize my eco than my military here. As if I get enough bills, then I'll be able to uh, make more uh, make more military units later. I already noticed you. I, I, uh, glancing at the chat, but it's so, gosh, there's just so much I have to do when I play AoE. So I only have a couple knights here, as, uh, again, you know, Eco's a little bit on the weaker side of things, but once I get my gold rolling, that should help a lot. 
Build another lumber camp is that one. Uh, Vills are a little far away, you know, and there's a couple tiles of difference. That helps. Build another night. Do a little dance. Get down tonight. Jesus. That's just, that's just ping delay. All right. Okay, cool, cool. I killed a villager. Looks like Dutch class doing better than Krizini. Ooh. Cool beans. Really use a uh, wheelbarrow and a bunch of other techs. This game requires way too much multitasking. Ooh, Cole Mongo. Looking good. And what I like is that Rick Askey is not dead. That That is great. The goal is just him not dead. He's not dead. I'm enjoying myself. And hopefully he is too. So I hear that Red Knights are in his base. Could be bad. But I'm sure he'll let me know if he needs help. Oh. Zoning off his gold and whatnot? Like, uh, I'm assuming that... Where did Dutch Class's guys go? Because I see he's a stable implying he's building something. Hello, Air Max Studios. Good to see you again, dude. Okay, make more stuff. Really goes for a sip of that delicious water. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Ah, the Spearman. Mangadai. That's not Mangadai. Oh yeah, I'm huge into uh, huge into RTS games, uh, Zigman Jara. But that's a really good question, actually. Halo Three has always been one of my favorite games. It's really the only FPS game besides maybe like I played a bit of Modern Warfare uh, and you know a couple other Call of Duty games. But yeah, Halo Three always been one of my favorites. Oh, Jesus, he's got he's got stuff. All right, so uh, we're kind of abandoned in the whole night plan, I think, as uh, night's not really not really gonna do too much here. I don't really know how I'm feeling about the knights anymore. I think I can just boom up a little bit, you know? Is Rick Askey AFK? Just knew, my friend. We were all like that at one point. For the longest time, I was the worst player in history, and now I am slightly marginally better than that. <laughs> I love the self uh, the self-deprecating humor. One thing that I, I do think is important to bring up is that, you know, usually when it comes to AoE 2, you know, people will tell you if you're less than 1800 uh, on Voobly, then you're, like, below average, but that's just a fundamental misunderstanding of the word average. I think we should be polling the entire player base when it comes to that. Uh, the, the average skill level, I don't think, is the, you know, the difference between, in skill, between the worst player in existence and the best player. Uh, you know, we, we shouldn't be comparing the 1200 to the Viper, we should be, you know, factoring in how many 1200s there are. So, no, I don't think that that is average. I think that that's, those are good players. <laughs> Alright, so these knights uh, didn't really get to do too much here, as the enemies have pikes and shenanigans, but well, I'll send those knights over there again. I'm just going to try and uh, boom up a lot. A lot, a lot. And hopefully that works out for me. So if I get it a huge eco, maybe uh, we can compensate for our slower teammates. Do you know how many 1200s there are? No idea, but they're like, uh, most players are really, 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 really slow at AoE 2. I mean, the Viper could be maybe like an infinite supply of new players. Uh, the, the, there's a huge, huge skill discrepancy between the worst player in AoE 2 and the best player. That's kind of undeniable. And that's part of the reason why I'm here, is I want to try and bridge that gap a little bit if I can. Make this game a little bit easier to understand, because some not, not everything is necessarily super duper intuitive. So how's, uh... How's everything going? Is the Cheese Empire a Smurf? That, that'd be real sad. Is that actually the Light Empire? I don't think I... I don't think I get smurfed in my viewer matches too often, and I appreciate that, so... I hope he's not. But if he is smurfing, then that's... I don't know. He's not doing very well. Well, either way, again, I'm not really feeling the knights that much. They just can't really do anything against those pikes. So maybe I'll build build some ranges. Uh, again, so many pikes. Is this guy goths? He's goths. He can be infinite experienced players too. Indeed! I do not stream League of Legends anymore, Hello Nasty One, but maybe again someday. Who knows? I think Hearthstone is something that I would actually rather do semi-regularly. I think that Hearthstone is just a game that was made to be streamed. It has a much easier learning curve. But in general, you know, I try to, I prefer to stick to games that people would 
appreciate more uh, since, you know, most of us are AoE fans. But, you know, I just like, I like to mix up the content from time to time. You know, those knights aren't going to do squat. So, yeah, just boom up a bit, boom up a bit. Boy, no one has anything to say about that in the enemy team. My life a little easier. Did I ever get wheelbarrow? I feel like I did. But, you know, those are famous last words. I did. Rock solid. So, you know, right now I'm just trying to stockpile money. Money, 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 money. Going real heavy on the stones so I can get out of castle eventually, especially if I ever get raided. And it looks like this is shaping up to slow down a little bit. I mean, the Koreans' late game is OP, so it, it kind of favors us, sort of. <clears throat> and it gives time for our newer teammates to boom up, so we'll see. Hey, goodbye, Mr. A. Yes. Welcome to the stream. Let's go to that university. Yeah, I am very hyped for the uh, upcoming Age of Empires 2 expansion. I think it's cool, whatever keeps things fresh. Uh, one of the big concerns, of yes. course, that people have is that you know, it will divide the community further, and that's a valid concern. It's a very valid concern. However, they, uh, the developers say that perhaps an integrated lobby solution is on the way, so perhaps you'll be able to play with people who have the DLC. We'll be able to combine them all. Like, it'll pick the appropriate version of the game when you join the lobby. Something like that would be amazing. And we have reason to believe it's on the way. Now, good news is I have built all the building requirements. I'm going to build a castle here again to try and defend myself in case I get raided. That way I don't have to pull back my own military units. Helps out a lot. And I should be able to just, you know, click up to imp real soon. Just buy my way there, I think. Because I don't want to wait any longer. I can wait no longer. Where was I being attacked? Probably my scout did. He's moving out with the knights. I've stopped making them because I feel like they lose a lot of value when your opponents have nothing but pikemen. Uh, however, on the flip side, I'm giving my, you know, opponents, you know, a lot of room to breathe by doing this, which is also bad. Mining upgrades are important, so I always neglect them because I'm distracted. Fix this game first, please. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the same boat, my friend. I'm in the same boat, Arjidan. The voice of reason. But it's all about the money. You gotta bring on the money, my friend. Still, well, I'm totally going to buy it, because I, I believe it's going to be good. And I think HD is in a pretty good position right now. I mean, it's missing a lot of things that I would like, but at the same time, it, I think it runs well, and it's a good place. What I like about it more is that it has a, a pretty casual community, I guess, uh, which kind of fits my whole somewhat casual playstyle. I don't really play this game as uh, super-duper seriously as I used to, just here for fun. Not trying to do too much laddering. I mean, really, in my opinion, in any game that allows you to pick and choose your opponents, it's hard for me to take the ladder experience too seriously. But that being said, I think Boobly does a really good job at keeping the ladder system a lot cleaner. Oh, okay. So my knights, it looks like they've uh, been located. That's fine. Just getting all my techs, or I'm not, because I don't have any money. This might be a good tech. I want to make some war wagons and stuff. Uh, let's see... I think Colmongo should probably transition out of knights. I don't know. I don't know if you should keep making knights. They have lots of bikes. We'll see. This could be a hard game. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't be streaming it very weak. Indeed. Alright. So I'm gonna be I'm building some ranges up here. And I'm doing this so it takes a little bit less time for my reinforcements to arrive. Because I have reasons to believe that Rick Askey is, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna die. He's gonna run around and desert us. He's gonna make us cry. He's gonna say goodbye. And he's gonna tell some lies. <laughs> we know the game and we're gonna play it well okay uh, another castle is in order again I the war wagons are so expensive cost an arm and a leg I can't imagine myself building too many of these these Skype notifications are really annoying I'm just gonna close Skype I had it open because I was uh, on Skype zero empires earlier but we're just gonna close that it's just popping up all over everything building another blacksmith because I I'm just sick of waiting Ooh. Wait, is that actually... Is that framer related? No! 
Rick Askey! Oh my god, I totally predicted this. Don't drop, though. Don't drop. Don't drop one time. Eh? Eh? Hey, there we go. I don't know if that was frame rate or ping related. Uh, I got, he has the notification thing for both. Yeah, it looks like he, he wanted to give us up and desert us. So I'm moving out now. I'm huge. I'm powerful. I'm all boomed up and I got me an ace machine. I don't know where those knights are going. Yeah, uh, good news is I have a lot of farmers, so now I just need to compensate for other holes in my eco by just balancing out my resource count. Shouldn't be too hard. I think I got chemistry right. I think. Sure, that's, uh, that's a good tech. Oh, maybe I didn't because I'm poor. Yes, yes. So we're running a little low on gold because I have no gold miners. It makes sense, right? It's logical. So what's going on over here? a castle. Make more town centers and villagers, friends. Here, Jiko. Moving out. Time to poke you. Yes. Yeah, we might not be able to win this one. There's a huge... Uh, oh, what the hell? Alright. That is bad news bears. Oh, man. Does that put a damper on my pamper? Well, shit, son. Oh, that's so bad for us. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that is, that is bad. That's real bad. All right, whatever, man. I can't, yeah, oh, he's got a, he's got a castle. Mm. Oh, that's so bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh-oh, all right. So the time to uh, make uh, mangonels is now. If you just build that siege workshop a little bit faster, if you build this castle a little bit faster, build another castle, I don't know, man. Oh, that's just so sad. Oh, God. Oh, the humanity. I was not ready for this. Hey, Tislano, thanks for the sub. Resub. Oh, that's just, that is the worst. That's the worst right now. Give that a solid 2 out of 10. Uh, we, could just, we could just speed on up. Oh, no. Look at that split. Oh, look at that split. Oh, my God. Box formation. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Grazini. Oh no! Oh, I, I got him! I got him! We tagged him, and that's uh, that kind of helps. Poking him with elite skirms, but uh, fuck that shit, man. These guys are too tanky. We keep poking at him. He's on the hill like a smart person, and now I'm in just panic mode. As uh, yeah, I got nothing I can do really too much about this. Build another siege workshop. I don't know. Looks like is he is he just gonna keep running? That's fine. I guess. I mean, the, the only real downside here with this is that uh, I'm not really able to apply any offensive pressure of any description because I am so preoccupado over here. And that is a little bit concerning, so I'm gonna make some guys... I know, he, I know he has knights, so this is like subpar at best, but, you know. And I'm gonna clear these guys out eventually. I mean, that's the problem. I have a lack of mobility here. You can just kite my guys uh, to the next age and beyond. I mean, it's annoying. I guess he's not applying any offensive pressure either. So, I'm gonna keep chasing him. Cool beans. Yeah, could have been worse. How's this going? Okay, so uh, getting ready to do more stuff. I think I'll put some of these guys on like stand ground. Or, oh! I see. I'll you know, keep some. Uh, Keep some mangonels back there, I don't know. Elephants? That's bad. Swap the hand cannons, I think. 
Maybe I'll throw in a uh, Halbs, start upgrading that. Okay. So start going into Halbs, I think. Ballistics is a good technology. Oh, that's super bad for me. You know, I feel like we're we're substantially outnumbered at this point. Oh, Jesus. All right, looks like we took down those guys. We're gonna need to send more forward bills, I think, to really start uh, building infrastructure. And I think I'm also gonna need to start you know, teching heavily into onagers or something. I don't know. This could be real tricky. Send those guys up here a little bit. Still missing a couple upgrades here and there, which are kind of substantial, like Siege Engineers at extra range. We'll see. Uh, this is kind of bad, because I teched heavily into archery range junk to go deal with the uh, Mayans. And uh, really, like... And, you know, Knights I can still mow down with my hand cannons and arbs, but I, it's sure really not enough against Elephants. Elephants are too tanky. Like, their stats are ridiculous. So I'm going to really need a better army than what I got. I'm going to need to start teching into something else. This looks like it's pretty bad for us in a million different ways. Uh, unless the other half of the team can apply some substantial pressure, we'll see. Looks like they're turtling up a little bit. Uh, it looks like everyone is kind of booming, and that's good. And really, I don't mind if we lose this. I lose all the time, it's no problem. What matters more to me is to see improvements in uh, the players in the game. And what's good is that even though some of my teammates are playing a little slow, which is expected and understandable considering that they're new, I am seeing them do good things. And I look at this and I see that their eco is, uh, looks like it's building up a little bit, you know? I see a lot of TCs, and that's great news for us. That's great news. Because, you know, one thing, you know, speed and execution is something that will come in time. You'll have to just play enough of the game uh, to be able to feel comfortable doing all the things that I uh, suggest at a reasonable pace. That'll just take time and practice. But if you understand what you should be doing, uh, execution comes later in time. And these guys seem like they've got a general idea of what needs to go on later. So, yeah, I, I see a lot of TCs, and, and that's good, because, you know, you want to get to, uh, you know, 100-plus villagers eventually, and the better player you are, the faster you can go do that. Now I'm getting all my upgrades. This forest looks like it's, uh, you know, positively depleted. I could probably start thinking a bit of a trade line. You don't want to start trading too early, as you have to invest a lot of resources in said trade carts. Now, I do have uh, an army that is okay against his, although I should focus harder on the uh, hand cannon side of things, I think. Because now he's teching into eagles, which is smart. So I'm going to need to go real heavy into uh, hand cannons. I might need to go into champs. Ah, I have to transition into so many different units. That is, that is really spooky. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm really glad that we decided to swap uh, to a 4v4. I think that was the smart decision here. Uh, and it would not have been close to fair otherwise, I think. I don't think it would have been close to fair otherwise. So, so this is good. Uh, clearly, we made the right decision making it a 4v4, but maybe, maybe uh, teams weren't completely balanced in the end. Still, it's a lot closer than it otherwise would be. Countering these two vastly different army comps is very tricky. These guys have their uh, unit weaknesses covered for sure. That's always a concern. And that's something that you should always be thinking about, you know, is making a wide variety of units when you play the game. So that way, uh, it's a lot harder to just build counters to your army. Okay, so uh, things are looking a little on the grimmer side. But if I can get out some trade cards, then maybe we're not so dead. Who knows? Either way, I've got my guys over here, and uh, again, rather substantially outnumbered, and they have just a better army comp for this specific situation. Yeah, well, we were... We were right to 4v4, but not quite balanced. Thank God we didn't yes. 3v5 this. Yeah, this was, there's no, yeah, hmm, okay. All right, I think, uh, I think we're positively, Jesus. Dutch class, my friend, you have rams, lots of rams. 
think we did. <laughs> well, we tried, team. A for effort, as uh, I think that that's all she wrote. I can't really imagine too much changing this situation. Fortunately, I think uh, I think Rick Askey is dead. No, 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 no. Rick, it's fine. Princess too. Winning isn't everything. All that matters is that you had fun. You will get better over time, my friends. This is a learning experience. It's for fun. We tried, and we gave it our best effort, and that's really what counts. I always look at my losses, and I'm like, hmm, what, could, what are the things that uh, myself and everyone else can do better? And in this case, you know, I could have always... I play slowly on stream. Could have just been faster in general, faster to imp, faster to pressure them. Uh, that that would have that would have helped quite a bit, and yeah, I think really everybody could have played faster, and that probably would have worked out. Another thing is that I I always forget to check the sieves when I'm like streaming. It's too much too much to look at. Ah, uh, the Persians, it's, it's too much to handle. I uh, I should have saw, seen that coming. <laughs> Rick Askey asks that we enable cheats next time. That'd be interesting. Uh, probably not. Yeah, the enemy team, I mean, they kind of earned this win. Uh, most of, like, like, really their unit choice is very, very smart here. I mean, obviously they have, like, a numbers advantage too, but, like, the unit choices here are good. Uh, you look at, like, war elephants and plumed archers and siege rams are very tricky to deal with, because when I look at something like the, uh, the plumed archers, right, uh, those are the type of things with plumed archers and rams that we want to use onagers for, we want to use, uh, you know, anti- anti-ranged units for, uh, you know, like, skirms are good against the plumes, right? Uh, I want to use something with high pierce armor, uh, onagers, great, scorpions are great, uh, the battering rams encourage me to make, like, uh, bombard cannons or onagers, so that's something I want to do, and all the things that I want to, to use against the siege rams and the plumed archers get decimated by, uh, elite war elephants, it's, a uh, that's a very, very strong, well-balanced army comp, we see the results of that here as Dutch class, has a absurd units killed to lost ratio here. So Dutch class with 172 to 19 and 53 buildings raised is a direct result of his army synergy. He chose units that really complemented uh, Krizini. Krizini as well chose very, very good units. Uh, you know, you, you can see he started with the plumed archers. And in this case, the plumed archers very, very good as the Mayans. Uh, remember when you're in the pocket position of your team, you're far away from enemies. And if you got to help your teammates and apply pressure to the enemy team, you want to use units that have some degree of mobility. Like knights are kind of slow, but like they're they're fast enough, right? And that's why plumed archers are good because they're they're quite fast for archers. They run very fast. Those guys are in great shape, and he's able to apply pressure with those uh, plumed archers in the early game. So that's a good choice. Uh, the problem is with the Koreans is that their knights are terrible and they are missing a ton of upgrades. So. Uh, they're not necessarily uh, amazing, and my opponents were making counters to that with pikemen. We saw Manga died with pikemen, uh, Dutch class with pikemen, so they were able to repel those. And as the game drags on, you know, I have to swap to something else, which is a lot less mobile, and the plume archers get to punish me for it. He sent them in at a good enough time that I wasn't really completely repaired yet with the castles. And you'll see that once I was making counters to plumed archers, Krizini did indeed uh, swap to... Uh, Eagle Warriors, he threw Eagle Warriors in there, which again, you want to be, in the late game, you want to be adjusting your unit choices to counter the enemy, and in this case, uh, Krizini did exactly what he needed to do. He threw in the Eagle Warriors, which punishes me for going, like, Skirms, Hand Cannoneers, Onagers, and whatnot, beats all those, so, in that case, the enemy team had all their bases covered, and it shows here, uh, yeah. Teams weren't as uh, balanced as they could have been, but, you know, you never really know. Everyone has their own rating for a different reason, and win or lose, it is a-okay. As long as there's... I know that people don't like me uploading videos to YouTube of me getting owned, uh, but I think that there is a educational uh, side to that, and there's a lot to be learned here. Uh, so while I didn't win, I think there's a lot of interesting things that, that did go on that allowed the enemy team to win. So hopefully, in that case, uh, this is informative and entertaining on some level, too. Um, yeah. It was, uh, it was pretty tricky. I mean, you can see how, like, forcing your opponent to transition, like, I was this game, like, uh, you know, forcing me or whoever your opponent is to transition into lots of different units that they didn't have the tech for initially is, it can be really huge. Because I had to transition into Halbs, right? Because of all the war elephants that were coming out, and I was tech full into archery range, because that's how you deal with those damn plumed archers, right? So I had to go full, full archery range, and 
I got punished for it because I didn't have the pikemen, halberdier upgrade, uh, squires, and all those other things I needed. In that time period where I'm getting all those techs and upgrading my stuff, uh, they get to uh, exploit that and they get a huge offensive lead. So counters are everything, my friends, and hopefully that helps. Yeah, next time forward, university, indeed. So yeah, uh, let me know if uh, you learned something here, hopefully. And it was a fun game anyway. Hey, we, we, we tried. We got pretty far. We got pretty far, but in the end, it eh, didn't matter. That's fine. It, when you want to, like, speed up your game and get better at the game, I think the most important thing you can focus on is uh, making sure your town center is always working. And that just, you know, it'll take practice, execution, just comes in time. And what I recommend you do is you get used to the routine of checking your TC all the time. So you, you just press H to jump to your town center, and then you build your hotkey, and you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was tricky business, indeed, uh, the Cheese Empire. <laughs> when I was moving from the U.S. to Teslanopia. We'll see. Next time, send blankets full of smallpox to the Mayans. Ah, that's a history reference. All right, I will not do that, as that is no fair. All right, GG Wolflade, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this match. It was a fun one. It was a fun one. And, uh, yeah. Korean's a little slow. Korean's a little slow. But I enjoyed it, and I look forward to the next time that I get to play with you guys. So, yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, yeah, don't forget to leave me a like rating uh, if I upload this to YouTube. And as well as perhaps check out the rest of the stuff on my YouTube channel. I got plenty of other Age of Empires 2 videos there as well as videos of other games. So if you like this one, you'll probably like those as well. And of course, I'd love to have you at my you know weekly Age of Empires 2 streams as well as other things I stream regularly. So yeah, uh, make sure to head on over to my Twitch page if you like. And you can find the schedule below if you scroll down. As always, guys, your support is sincerely appreciated. And I hope you've been enjoying the stream so far because... Uh, we're going to be doing another game soon, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the next match in just a moment. What's my opinion of AoE 3? Neon Ghost says, uh, I think it's a really, really good game. It doesn't really feel much like an age game to me, so I didn't enjoy it as much as AoE 2, but I think it's a really great game on its own, especially with an amazing soundtrack. I think the soundtrack is great. And it's a game that I've enjoyed quite a bit, but it didn't really feel much like an age game. Yes, GG well played, cool manga. Alright guys, we're gonna be right back and I'll see you all shortly. Don't go anywhere.